Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will discuss questions on condensed matter physics and spectroscopy appeared in assistant professor examination. For a close packed up BCC structure of hard spheres, the lattice constant A is related to the sphere of radius R as A is equal to 4R divided by root 3. In a simple cubic lattice, D100 is to D110 is to D111. DHKL represents the interplanar spacings is. So, we know that the interplanar spacings DHKL can be written in terms of Miller indices HKL. The expression is DHKL is equal to A divided by square root of H square plus K square plus L square where A is the lattice constant, H, K, L are Miller indices. D100 becomes A divided by square root of 1 square, that is 1, so A. Then D110 is equal to A divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square, A divided by root 2. Then A, D111 is equal to A divided by square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is A divided by root 3. Then ratio of D100, D110, D111 will be 1 is to 1 by root 2 is to 1 by root 3. If you multiply this, all this by root 6, you will get root 6 is to root 3 is to root 2. Therefore, answer is root 6 is to root 3 is to root 2. Einstein's theory of specific heat concludes that at lower temperature, the specific heat it drops exponentially with decrease in temperature. At higher temperature, the specific heat is equal to 3R. Then, for a Fermi gas of n particles in three dimensions, the Fermi energy is proportional to. So, we know that the Fermi energy is given by h2 square divided by 2m into 3 pi square n raised to 2 by 2. That is, Ef is directly proportional to n raised to 2 by 3. Therefore, the Fermi energy is directly proportional to n raised to 2 by 3. The dispersion curves of electron 1 and 2 are shown in following figure. Then, the effective mass of is the question. So, here dispersion curves are plots of energy versus wave vector k that is E versus k and these are the dispersion curves. Then effective mass m star can be written as h cross square divided by d square e by dk square. d square e by dk square is curvature. Larger the curvature, smaller will be the mass. Here d square e by dk square for electron 1 is more compared to electron 2. Since this value is less, the effective mass of electron 2 will be more. Therefore, electron 2 is having more effective mass than electron 1. Therefore, option B is the right answer. The dispersion relation of phonons in a solid is given by omega square k is equal to omega naught square into 3 minus cos kxa minus cos kya minus cos kza. The velocity of phonons at large wavelength is. So, expression is omega square k is equal to omega naught square into 3 minus cos kxa minus cos kya minus cos kza. So, here cos theta. So, cos 2 theta can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Therefore, cos kxa can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square kx a by 2. Similarly, cos k y a can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square k y a by 2 plus cos k z a will be 1 minus 2 sin square k z a by 2. Therefore, omega naught square into 3 minus here 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 plus 2 sin square k x a by 2 plus 2 sin square k y a by 2 plus 2 sin square kz a by 2. At larger wavelength, k tends to 0. So, here k is 
inversely proportional to lambda. As lambda increases, k value tends to 0. That is, sin ka by 2 can be written as ka by 2. Therefore, omega square k is equal to omega naught square into 2 into here 3 minus 3 cancels. 2 into sin square kx a by 2 can be written as kx square a square by 4 plus 2 into ky square a square by 4 plus 2 into kz square a square by 4. Here omega naught square a square into kx square plus ky square plus kz square in denominator 2 will remain. So omega naught square a square k square divided by 2. Therefore, omega is equal to omega naught into a into k divided by root 2. Velocity of phonons can be written as omega by k. So, if you take k this side, you will get omega naught a by root 2. Therefore, answer is omega naught a by root 2. In the BCS model of superconductivity, the dependence of critical temperature Tc on isotope mass is given by Tc is directly proportional to m raised to minus 1 by 2. And n-type semiconductor is, so n-type semiconductor is always electrically neutral. Here, the P type, N type for any semiconductor is always electrically neutral. Next question is the nature of bonding in solid argon is. Solid argon is having van der Waals force of attraction. Which of the following phases of liquid crystalline state is characterized by both positional and orientational order? So here. In cholesteric phase, you will find both positional and orientational order. Here, next question. Germanium having a forbidden gap of 0.72 electron volt is irradiated with monochromatic radiation. The wavelength required that would be sufficient to create an electron hole pair will be. So, we know that the wavelength is given by Hc by E. That is equal to 12,420. So, if you calculate H into C divided by that uh, charge of electron, it will be in a electron mode. So, energy is given 0.72. So, if you solve this one, you will get 17,250. Therefore, answer is 17,250 angstrom. For an intrinsic semiconductor at 300 Kelvin, NP is equal to 2 into 10 to 19 per meter cube. Mobility of electron mu e is equal to 0.39 meter square per volt per second and mobility of holes mu p is equal to 0.19 meter square per volt per second. Conductivity of the sample in mo per meter is. So we know that the conductivity in semiconductor is given by sigma is equal to Ne e mu e where e is the charge of electron, Ne is the number of electrons, then mu e is the mobility of electrons. Here plus Np, Np is the number of holes, e is the that is uh, charge of holes that is same as charge of electron, then mu p is the mobility of holes. Then here for intrinsic semiconductor, here given that it is intrinsic semiconductor. For intrinsic semiconductor, number of electrons will be is equal to number of holes. So, therefore, Ne is equal to Np. So, we can take Ne into E as common into mu E plus mu P. So, here Ne is given as 2 Ne or Np. That is, is equal to 2 into 10 to 19 per meter cube. So, into charge of electron is 1.602 into 10 to minus 19 multiply by mu e plus mu p that is 0 0.39 plus 0 0.19 if you solve this you will get an answer 1.85 that is nearer to 1.92 therefore answer is 1.92 
in the microwave spectrum of identical rigid diatomic molecules the separation between the spectral lines is recorded to be 0.7143 wave numbers the moment of inertia of the molecule in kg meter square is the rotational constant b can be written as b is equal to h divided by 8 pi square ic here the separation between the spectral lines is given the separation between spectral line is nothing but 2b that is equal to 0.7143 wave numbers therefore b will be 0.7143 divided by 2 wave numbers i can be written as i is equal to h divided by 8 pi square bc so value of h in CGS unit is 6.634 into 10 raised to minus 27 divided by 8 into pi square that is 3.14 whole square into B is 0.7143 divided by 2 into value of C is 3 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter per second. So that will be is equal to 0 0.078 into 10 raised to minus 37 gram centimeter square. But we want answer in kg meter square. So convert this gram centimeter square into kg meter square. So gram to kg that means 10 raised to minus 3 kg into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. Answer will be 7.8 into 10 raised to minus 46 kg meter square. Option D is the answer. In a ruby laser population inversion is achieved by so it is achieved by optical pumping then the doublets observed in alkali spectra are due to spin orbit interaction of the electron the degeneracy of the spectral term 3f is so here 3f so multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3 and for f orbital quantum number l is equal to 3 therefore degeneracy will be is equal to 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1. So that is 3 into here 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 3 into 7 is 21 therefore answer is 21. The L, S and J quantum numbers corresponding to the ground state electronic configuration of boron Z is equal to 5 that is atomic number is equal to 5 R. The electronic configuration can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So total 5 electrons. Then here outermost electron is in a state 2p1. Therefore for p orbital angular quantum number is equal to 1 for only one electron is there therefore s is equal to half so value of j will be l plus s to l minus s l plus s is 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 l minus s will be 1 by 2 therefore ground state is l is equal to 1 s is equal to half and j is equal to half so b is the answer for an atom in the state of 2d 5 by 2, the Lande G factor should be. Expression for Lande G factor is 1 plus j into j plus 1 plus s into s plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 divided by 2 j into j plus 1. Here for 2d 5 by 2 state, value of j is 5 by 2 and here d for d orbital angular quantum number l is equal to 2. Here 2s plus 1 is 2 that means s is equal to half. So if, if you substitute the value of j l s so you will get 1 plus l of j is 5 by 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 3 by 2 minus 2 into l plus 1 3 divided by 2 into 5 by 2 into 7 by 2. If you simplify this you will get the answer 1.2. Therefore, Lande G factor is 1.2. Assuming that the LS coupling scheme is valid, the number of permitted transitions from 2p3 by 2 to 
2s1 by 2 due to weak magnetic field is. So here 2p3 by 2 is split into 4 levels that is 3 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2 and 2s1 by 2 will split into 2 levels that is 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. Then delta mj value is equal to these are the selection rules that will be either 0 or plus or minus 1. So delta mj with 0 plus or minus 1. Here 3 by 2 to 1 by 2 will come up to minus 1 because always delta mg can be written as m final state minus m initial state. Final state is 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1. Here minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 again minus 1 then 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 then minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 here 1 by 2 minus of minus 1 by 2 that is plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus of minus 3 by 2 again okay? plus 1 so number of transitions are 1 2 3 4 5 6 therefore 6 is the answer in a very strong magnetic field the splitting of a spectral line is normal this effect is called question back effect next question is for an electron in hydrogen atom the states are characterized by usual quantum numbers n l and ml the electric dipole transition between any two states requires that the selection rule can be written as here delta L is equal to plus or minus 1, delta ML is equal to 0, plus or minus 1. Which of the following states exists? So here, the multiplicity 2s plus 1. In all the option, it is 2. Therefore, value of S will be 1 by 2. Then, for P state, value of orbital quantum number L is equal to 1. Then we know that value of J varies from L plus S to L minus S. Value of L plus S is 3 by 2 and L minus S is 1 by 2. Since 1 by 2 option is not there, so we can say that option B is the correct answer. Then next question is which of the following molecules does not exhibit a rotational spectrum? Here answer is H2. H2 molecules does not exhibit rotational spectrum since it does not have permanent dipole moment. The hyperfine splitting of the spectral lines of an atom is due to the coupling between electron spins and the nucleus spins. Thank you. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and share.